Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's already been an exciting morning for me. <laughs> a little crazy here. Um, I had a little ant attack on my desk this morning, <laughs> so right before we got started. So I'm a little flustered by the ants. But anyways, happy Wednesday. I know I just said that, but I'm super pumped. We're excited for our guest today. Um, I'm excited for you to meet her. Before we bring her on, if you are new, you can get a text notification every time we go live. It will hit your phone just a few minutes after we hit the live button here each morning, Monday through Friday. Text the letters WUL to 813-296-8553. We only send text messages regarding uh, Wake Up Legendary from that number. So hop on in, join, get your notification and get your dose of morning inspiration, um, a mastermind in skills, technique, and keep your knowledge and motivation going. All right, everyone, without further ado, please welcome Shayla to the show. Good morning. Good morning. It's so nice to have you on and welcome. Well, thank you for having me. I'm super excited, kind of nervous, but hopefully I can say something or share something to help inspire the audience. Oh, definitely. I, I have never seen an episode where something wasn't shared because yeah. you're sharing your story and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing, no matter what. So where are you calling it? calling in from? Where are you joining us? I am calling from East Tennessee. So a lot of people know where Pigeon Forge, like Dollywood, Sevierville is. I'm about an hour and a half from there. So I live in a small town called Greenville. Okay, nice. And how did you find Legendary? Were you looking for something? Were you researching or did you, it just happen upon in your feed? So yeah, I, I had always known that there were ways to make big money online. I had seen things on Instagram about like Amazon FBA or like drop shipping and it always piqued my interest, but I always thought that sounds like so much work. There's got to be an easier way to leverage. There's got to be an easier way. And so um, I have a six month old son. I um, throughout my whole pregnancy, I was super broke and just struggling the whole time. My husband has a commission based financial you know, job in the industry. And it was just, you know, there was long periods of time that we were not seeing those commissions. And so we were really struggling. Um, there was a time that, so my husband, by the title of this video, it says that, you know, we donated plasma. I couldn't because I was pregnant, but he did. So I would sit in the waiting room for him. And those were always just really tough times for me to just sit there and wait for him and think about the state that we were in. Right. And, um, you know, being big and pregnant, I didn't think it would be a good idea to go out and get a job. Right. And so we were just kind of like getting by, like it says. And so um, anyway, I, I found Camilla Markson, just like a lot of people do, mm -hmm. just going through my feed. And I was like, wow, if, if that, you know, is her life, if that's possible for her, then mm -hmm. why can't it be for me? Why not me? And I was just at such a low point in my life, like really just out of desperation. I was like, I'm willing to try anything. And so something that maybe in the past I would have written off as like a scam, you know, a lot of people think it could be. I was at a place that I was open to it and I was like, I'm ready to learn. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. So before I dive into that really quick, Christopher, yes, we are live since he keeps asking in the comments. <laughs> yeah. You know, I know that was a hard place and, and thank you for sharing that with all of us. And that was a hard point in your life, but man, what a testament to figuring it out, right? Determination, not giving up. Like we've got to do something and we're going to handle it, whatever that is. And yeah. I, I think that mindset is, is going to help continue to help you guide you and grow and help you reach all the goals that you're looking for. Um, I don't see it as a negative. I see it as somebody that is strong um, and is willing to do what it takes to support your family, no matter what that is. Exactly, exactly. I love that you mentioned mindset because 
that's exactly what it is. And, you know, getting into this really legendary marketer as a whole and this whole experience for me has been the catalyst for my mindset shift in this way and learning about, you know, what it means to be an entrepreneur, what it means to show up every day to, in this case, you know, get behind the camera, do something that makes me uncomfortable um, because, you know, I, first of all, I believe in it. I know that it's a proven system, but second of all, it's, you know, my family, it's my life. And, you know, I want to do whatever it takes so that we can achieve financial freedom, like true financial freedom. And it doesn't matter how long it takes, but that's the goal. And so just showing up every day thinking today's the day, today's the day that a miracle is going to happen. So yeah, mindset has been everything for me. Yeah. Did you struggle at the start? Like when you first dove into the challenge, what were your roadblocks that you experienced? Well, I guess like at first I thought, okay, this is going to be over 15 days. And I don't know really what I was expecting, but I think I thought it would be like something elaborate and like I would really have to take notes every day or that the videos would be longer. Um, and like, I kind of struggled in school to be honest with you. So I was like, hopefully I can like figure this out. And it was not like that at all. I think that it was very shocking with how simple and um, like just, it was so simple. He taught it, you know, Dave taught throughout the course so well and so clearly. And um, it was super, I guess, implementable. Like I could easily turn right around and implement that in my life. And I'm like, where has this been my whole life? Like, how did I not know about this? You know, and once you learn what it is, like affiliate marketing, digital marketing, you see it everywhere. And you're like, everyone's doing it. Yeah, it is. It's it's highly transferable skills. I mean, yeah. every single this is what people don't get. And this is anytime I see any type of like hate comments, I know they never went through the challenge because they sound like idiots with their, yeah. they're complaining about. But um, when you learn these skills, it can be used in any business, any business, not even just strictly a strictly online business. It could be for any brick and mortar. It can be for any product, any business that exists needs marketing and all marketing regardless is online. Yeah. They all are collecting emails. They all ha are, have funnels. Mm -hmm. They all need social media. They all are creating content, creating ads, creating community connection, um, yeah. every single business. So when someone's like, it's not worth it, I mean, you're going to learn a ton that yeah. you can use in the sky's the limit of really what you want to do and the path you want to go. There's so many fingers and ways that you can take this education. And man, that's what I love. I love it because when you decide to step through one door, five more open and then another five and then another five and you just keep growing and pretty soon you're in a whole different spot if you just keep going. Absolutely. And I actually love that you brought that up, that you can implement this in any business, because like I said, my husband is in the financial industry and he works remotely so he can, you know, meet with anybody anywhere. But the problem is, is that it's well, it was a problem for us. At least we were struggling with this is the referral system counting and relying on people, you know, to refer people to you. And that was a struggle because at first he reached out to all the friends and family, start trying to start, you know, his business up. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's awkward for people to talk about finances. Anyway, that was tough for us, the, the referral system. So once I learned about digital marketing and learned how to implement it, I was like, we need to implement this into your business. Like, and, and with like the financial industry, there could be certain laws about things he can or cannot say on social media, but we're ironing out those, you know, things right now. And we're going to create him some social media accounts where he is providing valuable content, just teaching simple everyday things or sharing real life stories and um, leading people to a link which in, for his case is to meet with him one-on-one, -on -one, like a free consultation. Yeah. But like, I was like, oh my gosh, like everything happens for a reason. You yep. know, this was, I was able to help him in that way. 
And we just know that eventually it's going to explode because if there's anything I've learned in this business is that consistency is mm -hmm. key. It doesn't matter how small you start out. And for me and for most other people, you start with zero followers, right? And right. Um, no audience at all. And, you know, sometimes you wonder, is this even, you know, am I going to reach the right people? And you will, you definitely will. If you just, you're consistent, you show up every day, um, you as cheesy or as cliche as it sounds, you are authentically yourself. Like I, I believe it is in the, um, the, the challenge where Dave talks about that. He talks about how people don't want to see fake anymore. They want to see, they want to see the real you. And so no. that actually encouraged me to go into this. Cause I'm like, you know what? I'm pretty relatable. I'm a normal person. I'm a mom, you know? And, um, yeah. It seems like some, um, uh, it feels like a lot of people are scared to show themselves online. They actually, they want to put on a persona, but then it, it's hard. That gets heavy after a while, pretending to be something that you're not. And it sounds like you, that was something that really attracted you to this. Um, what else did you just love that just became surprisingly easy for you? That's a good question. I guess um, everybody talks about the first post. Like, I guess I'm just going back to just putting yourself out there. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I wasn't sure I could do. And I was thinking of ways that maybe I could do this faceless. But really, once you get past that first roadblock of, you know, getting behind the camera, making that first post, um, it's so much easier after that. And then you just show up and do it every day because you're like, they've already seen me. Here I am. Um, so I guess that was the main thing for me, mm -hmm. overcoming and um, just that's gotten easier over time for sure. And and I still get hate comments, like as little as I started out with and as I'm growing now, it's consistently never going to stop. Like, And again, going back to mindset, it's about um, being willing to have some, grow some thick skin and understand that people um, are living in their limited mindset. Like they're coming from a place of their lack. And, and I do feel sorry for them when I see comments like that. I'm like, I really wish that um, you could choose to have an open mind and, you know, think about this and what it could do for you because, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's going through something, but yeah, that's something that has gotten easier over time as well is just handling hate comments or, you know, and, and that's something I'm going off on a tangent now that I did not expect to see in my physical reality with my friends and family, as I told mm -hmm. them about this, mm -hmm. um, I was not prepared for the pushback I would get from the uh, people close to me. Right. Uh, because for me, I was introduced to it online where e people could easily um, dismiss it as a scam. But I thought, oh, well, when I tell them about it, then they'll be more supportive. Well, no, they still thought that, you know, I was doing something silly or uh, that it would never help provide an income for my family. And again, it just goes back to mindset. You have to hone in on your dream, your vision and knowing what it takes to get there, just showing up every day. So it does. And you got to know it. Those people aren't paying your bills. I don't care if it's family, or, you know, like they're just you have to figure out what's right for you and your future. And, and that goes for anything in our life. Yeah. At, at any point, like even I have teenagers and I could want things for them, but I can't tell them what they need to do with their next step of their life. It, it has to come from them. Yeah. It's not going to happen. They're not going to feel fulfilled. It's at some point it has to be about you and the life you're building with your goals and forget about everybody else because everybody else's opinion usually has their own fear attached, yeah. their own self doubt attached and they're feeling insecure and they want other people to feel insecure with them. So they share, they want to like bring it down. And so you've got to, it, that's where mindset comes in is to just be like, all right, they're in a different place than me. Yeah. We'll be over there with that. And I'm going to be over here with this. <laughs> Exactly. And like, you really don't know 
what your influence is as you are doing this online, you know, and that maybe, I mean, for me at first too, when I, you know, came across Camilla Markson's uh, things on her page, of course I was skeptical, but as I was, you know, seeing it more and more and seeing what it was doing for her, I was slowly opening up to it. I was like, okay, you know, maybe this is something I could do. And so you just never know um, that if that person who left a hate comment two months ago is all of a sudden like open to it now. And so, yeah, that's, that's what this is all about for me. This is why I'm doing this is because this is empowering for me and it's provided a way for me to help contribute, you know, to my family. And I genuinely want that for other people. Like I genuinely want people to know that um, you don't have to kill yourself at a nine to five. Um, you don't have to pick up a second job or you don't have to, you know, you don't have to struggle like that. And if I had known that sooner, I would have, you know, been hustling for years now, but um, you know, with digital marketing, but, or just, you know, even just digital, the digital world, because uh, legendary, like I said, it's been the catalyst for me in so many ways. And it's led me to so many other, you know, lucrative opportunities of making mm -hmm. money online. And so I am just, I feel indebted to you guys for what you've done for me. And it's just been such a blessing. Oh, thank you for sharing that. It's beautiful because for a $7 challenge, it just opens your eyes to what's possible. And um, if you allow that possibility to fill you back up, it's it's amazing how many people actually get so stuck in their lives. They forget to dream. They forget to they're no longer setting goals like they once did. We're so stuck on survival mode of the day that we're not looking further ahead at, anymore. Um, and I, I see for many the challenge unlocks that again. And it doesn't mean you're even if you don't go into affiliate marketing, um, it just lets you see what else is possible. Yeah. Different vision, which is really cool for sure. Yeah, I totally agree. It's like this challenge is doing so much more than teaching you a simple, you know, set of skills to apply in this area of the internet. Mm -hmm. Like it is genuinely inspiring, you know, to know. And specifically, you know, with Dave and his story, that that was super um, important for me as I went through the challenge, as I was introduced to it, knowing that he's a humble guy. He's come, he's had humble beginnings. He knows what struggle is and he has found this and it's changed his life. And so it's just so natural, you know, sharing something that you're passionate about. And so, um, yeah. Very cool. I love it. All right. So let's back up a little bit. Yes the very first video, the first okay. post, because you shared that there was some, you know, it was a little hard to get past the first one, but let's get into it. Yeah. How long did it take you? Is this days? Sometimes it takes people hours. Did you yeah. make 20 different versions? Did you rewatch it? Walk us through that process of thinking of what that first video is going to be and getting through it to actually hitting post. Yeah, I you know, like we're taught in the challenge is um, to draw inspiration from other people. So of course I was looking through other people's content and being like, okay, how can I make this my own or what can I share about? And, um, you know, I found a video I wanted to model mine after. And um, I think that I had actually had my social media accounts up for maybe a week or two with no posts before I actually filmed something. And I think I filmed it a couple times and looking back on it, I'm like, wow, I have really learned how to edit videos. And like, I have, my confidence has increased. And uh, because I had no, I didn't have TikTok, you know, before I went into this and I thought TikTok is the app, you know, um, to help my boost my business. And so I downloaded TikTok and I made that video there. I had no idea what I was doing and you just have to be okay you just have to be okay with, um, I don't know how to word that, just doing what you know how to do. Like it doesn't have to be polished and professional and perfect. Um, again, it goes back to just being yourself, being willing to put yourself out there no matter what. 
And so that's what it was for me because, of course, I had all those doubts in my head like, oh, my gosh, people are going to see this and cringe or people are going to see this and laugh because I was laughing at it myself. I was like, oh, man, that is so cringe. But like, I believe in this so much that I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, it was. You no, know, I think we're our biggest critic. You know, we're the only ones that notice, like, if there's a hair that's funny or, and if the pe viewers watch it, great. And they're going to comment, my engagement goes up, right? The engagement yeah. shoots through the room, so it's yeah. fine. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, it's like we're our own biggest bully in life, especially when it comes to anything new. Yeah. Um, and being on video and making that first content piece is is hard. And I think it's, I wanna make sure everyone really understands it's okay to feel fear in that moment. It's normal. It doesn't mean quit. Yeah. It means you got this. We're doing something new. You can do something new. <laughs> exactly. Keep going. Exactly. That's. That's exactly what keeps me going every day is that phrase in my mind is like, go with fear. Like bravery is not doing something without fear. It's doing it with fear, doing it anyway, because you believe in what you're doing so much that, you know, you're just going to do it. And so, yeah, that has been like my mantra, my motto in the back of my head is just go with fear, do what scares you, because you can only grow outside of your comfort zone. If you stay in your little bubble and you stay in your comfort zone, like there's no growth there. And yeah. so I knew going into this, that this would be a learning curve for me. This would be a learning opportunity. And it has been every single day. I continue learning and adapting. And that's what, again, that's what entrepreneurship is, is like mm -hmm. learning and adapting and improving as you go. Forever. Yeah. Honestly, it just, it never stops there's always those periods of growth. And most of us are here because we're looking for a change in our life, but yet we don't wanna feel uncomfortable. We don't wanna feel scared. And it's like, well, then you're not gonna have a change happen. Like those, those things have to happen. And I love the go with fear, do it. You've yeah. gotta move through all of this um, and accept that it's normal. Yeah. It's a normal emotion and being an entrepreneur is always that. And yeah. it doesn't matter how long you've been one. <laughs> exactly. You know, there's moments where you have self doubt in the day. There's moments where you ha are like, oh, I'm going to do something new to continue to grow my business. I'm going to try this new marketing tactic. I'm going to try this new angle in my content. Um, I'm going to send out this new type of email. <laughs> you don't know how it's going to go. You just can't take it personal because it's all a test. Exactly. So let's see. Let's I've been thoughtful about this. I'm going to try this. Let's put it out there. See what happens. See exactly. How it's and then adjust and try something different based off of that data. Exactly. We, we our marketing glasses kind of need to be a little more scientific a bit <laughs> Yeah. instead of emotional. Exactly. I totally agree with that, that it is, is all a test. And I think even um, your email com campaigns, at least for me and Aweber, um, that I think it's literally called that, like a test. Some, there's something that's called a test in there. But that's how it is when you're sending out a new email that, you know, you're not sure how it'll be received or, you know, you're making posting another piece of content. It's all um, learning about what your audience um, is drawn to and what speaks to them. Because again, if you, if you go into this thinking of yourself, if you go into this thinking of, you know, the money, or you're so focused on um, yourself, you'll never be able to connect with your audience. You'll never be able to help meet their needs. You'll never be able to um, provide value, you know, because when you become focused on providing value, um, then you'll succeed, you'll find success and you'll naturally accumulate an audience, you know, that want to watch you. And before I film a video, specifically videos where I'm just talking to the camera about a, a principle or something, um, I, I imagine my target audience is one person. I imagine that I'm talking to one person. What is she, you know, for me, it's like a, a stay at home mom, you know, that they're struggling financially. Like, what does she need to hear? What is she going through? 
you know, the pain points. How can I help her? How can I offer a solution to her problems, provide value? And so just knowing who you're talking to, again, it's like, forget yourself, you know, provide the value, help genuinely help people and you, you'll find success. Yeah. I think that that is a key nugget you dropped out there. It's something I know I talk about, Dave talks about as well. I always bring it up on decade in a day, um, is your audience in your business plan is key. Yeah. It can't just be everyone. <laughs> it can't be general, like just females. Yeah. You need to like draw a picture. I always say, draw a stick figure, give that person a name and tell me all about them. And then every video is talking to that one person and you're going to draw in your community. Yeah. And you're going to provide value. Like, how would you talk to a friend? How would you be making friends in real life? That's what you need to do on your social media, regardless of what niche you're in, whether you're in the parenting niche or health and fitness, you have to provide value and build connection yeah. to grow an audience because we can't recommend things to an empty room. Exactly. Exactly. Because if they don't feel something, you know, by the content that you're producing, then it's almost good for nothing. You know, maybe someone out there will be interested um, because you said so. But if you are, you know, again, providing value, if you're connecting with them, if you're helping them feel something, um, whether that, you know, hopefully that's inspired to take action. Right. right. And, and so, yeah, I was excited to come on here today and to share my story and for the, for my followers who might be watching for them to know that, you know, I'm a normal person. I, mm -hmm. I came into this, you know, with maybe a similar mindset that they might be going through or wondering if this would ever work out, um, struggling financially, like really, badly we were living uh, we're still living here now but um we're living kind of with family it's a long story and yeah. we, we pay rent to my parents mm -hmm. and we were at such a low point and that we weren't able to pay rent for months and i was you know big and pregnant worried about our situation and if it wasn't for their mercy we i don't know where we would be you know mm -hmm. and so i came from such a broke place but legendary again has just inspired me. It has taught me so many skills that, like you said, I can implement into any business um, mm -hmm. for, the, for the rest of my life. Like I'm super grateful. I'm only 22 years old that I found this so young. And I'm like, it is so true that technology is the future. And um, even if you look into the statistics of the people that are working from home and that are projected to be working from home, mm -hmm. um, you know, the brick and mortar jobs that are going to be lost in the future and how we all need to start accepting that the future is te with technology the future is online and that um it, and even if you do have a brick and mortar business it's going to affect and it is affecting all of us right yes. and so you know yeah we're all adapting we're all learning yeah and i love that you're sharing and i hope everyone's catching this Shayla's not sitting here like, did the challenge, became a millionaire, bought a house, right? Yeah. But you're going through, when you when you are in a hole, when you're in that place, you guys, you're climbing, you and your family are making the steps each day, another step, another step, another step. And that is freaking beautiful. How cool is that knowing you're not in the same place that you were a month yeah. ago, two months ago, three months ago. You're already in a different space. And next month, six months from now, it's going to be completely different than where you are today. Yeah. Um, you're putting in the time, the work, the mindset to keep going. And you're building one day, one step at a time and making these small adjustments. You may yeah. not have been able to pay rent and you had that beautiful help from family, but now you can. Yeah. You're, you're making those, it's all from grit and determination. And that's pretty cool. And what a beautiful story that you're sharing with us and really showing real life progression. You're right in the middle of it. 
Well, thank you so much. And you shared so many things that are so important, I think, for the people that are watching is like, don't go into this um, focusing too much on the end result, you know, what it is that you want you know, be, becoming a millionaire, which is totally possible for everyone that is watching, but it will look different for everyone that is watching. And I know that it's looked different for me. Mm -hmm. And um, like you said, if you focus on each step that you need to take every day, mm -hmm. um, then you will find that by the time you find, you know, the success that you're looking for, that you have changed as a person, that your mindset has changed, that you have evolved, you know, and that you're you're better than who you were before and it's a journey you know it's not the destination and sometimes i have to ask myself let's say that you know i went into this and boom just like <laughs> made a crap ton of money like i wouldn't have learned anything right. you know and mm -hmm. so it's so important and and i i have fi found like what success is for me along the way i've had my little wins and i'm super grateful for that mm -hmm. But again, you just have to find what it is that is driving you. Why are you doing this? You have to remember, why are you doing this? Is it important enough? Is whatever is driving you important enough to get up every day and do this every day? And for me, it is important enough. That's my family. That's everything to me. And um, I want to set our family up for, you know, so many different freedoms, time freedom, financial freedom. Mm -hmm. um, because then people will say like, oh, money doesn't buy happiness. But, you know, from other affiliates that I've seen and from the success they've seen, it's like, it definitely helps. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, well, I love how you worded it. Like, well, basically every person has a different definition of success. Yeah. Success is very fluid. Mm -hmm. It could be. So find, I love that you're, I've already had success. You're, you're using wins, smaller wins. It's not a million dollars. It's not, you know, that's not the only success that can exist. There are so many wins along the way. And if you can really look at those and focus on those and celebrate all your wins, celebrate every moment of success that you feel, every moment of joy and pride that you gain through this process, um, that is huge. Absolutely. When it will, it'll go into your community. It'll go into the audience you're building. And what I love also, that is a great reminder for all of us is we have to really come from a place of service and not from a place of what are, I've got to get people to buy from me, buy, 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 buy. I got to make money, make money, make money. It just won't work. It just doesn't convert. People don't connect with that. But when you are providing value, that could be through funny posts of entertainment, of providing joy, of, of connection. It could be through education, any type of value post that way. Um, they connect further and then they trust you more. But yeah. it, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a little time to build trust with anyone in real life and with anyone online. Um, and that's where the consistency piece comes in. And yeah. being authentic. And yeah. Showing who you are. I totally agree. And there's actually a post that comes to mind for whatever reason. Um, you know, going back to that, like forgetting about myself and, you know, how I can serve other people. And it was for, in this case, an educational piece of content. And it was part of being consistent every day, right? Showing up for them. Mm -hmm. um, I had double pink eye and I had a horrible like cold, like a horrible cold. And my poor baby did at the same time. And so I was worried about him. But, and you know, in the past, I would have been like, oh my gosh, I look like death right now. But mm -hmm. I didn't care. I was like, it's not about me. <laughs> and so I got behind the camera and filmed a video. But if you, if I go back and look like, you know, my eyes are like so bloodshot red and irritated and swollen. And I did it anyway. <laughs> I'm like, did I'm you gonna... say what was going on? Did you share that? No, I didn't. I, I did later. I, I like reposted it on my story. And I was like, here's a fun fact. I had double pink eye when I made this video. <laughs> I like, love that because you're a, a, an online content creator. 
And you're also showing your audience like, man, I showed up even when some people wouldn't. And yeah. go look at that video. Look how, like, could you tell? <laughs> I can tell. Can you yeah. tell? Did you think something else was going on with the yeah. guys? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, I, I think that's amazing when you can get to that place of knowing it's more important to show up than to be perfect. Yeah, absolutely. And I've had to remind myself that, you know, just I never knew how hard being a mom would be, but I'm here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I only have one kid. So like, you know, I can only imagine for all of you other mothers out there, you included that have multiple children. I'm like, man, you know, you love them and you're just so busy, you know, providing for them, caring for them. But again, it's just, I, I'm so committed to this. I'm committed yeah. to providing that life for them. So I, you don't find the time, you make the time. It doesn't right. matter, you know, um, how your day looked. If, if mm -hmm. you know, it was a horrible day, I still show up. Like, because this, I committed to this months ago. Right. And it doesn't matter what comes after that. I knew that life would happen. I knew that things would come up but I committed to this a long time ago and I'm not stopping now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, and, I, go ahead. Yeah. Kids can be one of those. It, it's not the term I want, but it's the only one coming to mind, like a time suck. Yeah. They can't. And, and it's not that. Yes. They deserve your time. They deserve yeah. your energy. It, they're your children. You love them, but they also can be very flexible. Yeah. In moments. They also can learn you know, mom needs a little time right now. Yeah. Or if they're at that age where you can't give that to them and explain that, you know, you, you get a little more creative with your time of when yeah. things are going to happen and when you're going to do it during nap time and that sort of thing. Um, but that's fluid. It'll adjust as they get older. It'll change. Yeah. Um, I have teenagers and they'll still come behind my computer screen right here and like hold up signs when I'm on video <laughs> for me to answer a question. It's like, I can't sit here and write it out, guys. I got to just answer you verbally. Yeah. Um, but they also know there is a time where mom, mom needs to get some stuff handled. Yeah. Or, hey, my oldest is like, what can I help you with? Yeah. She wants to learn more of this. And, and that's, it's kind of cool to see how they've transitioned through because their whole life I've been an entrepreneur. I've been in some type of business activity and yeah. they just learn to roll with it and they become flexible. I love that. And you're also, you know, teaching them um, what their future could look like. And I'm sure you inspire them or you, you know, plant seeds for them of what they could do for their future. And that's awesome. And so, yeah, I, I, I think about, you know, what you were sharing that, you know, about our time specifically as moms or just parents in general and just juggling mm -hmm. that because you love your children and you're going to set, you're going to take the time for them that they need. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but that it, it is so much better for me to, you know, hustle for a couple hours within the day sporadically mm -hmm. when I have the time um, and still be able to help provide than to go into a nine to five and clock in for a boss and, you know, be away from my family. And, you know, there's no flexibility there and you're accountable. You're more accountable to another person. It's not that you're not accountable to yourself and showing up for this every day, but you have to decide like, what, you know, what is it that you really want? What is it, you know, what is worth it for you? Because there's still a hustle involved and going to a nine to five and trading your time for money and, you know, with being an entrepreneur, but it's, it looks different. It does. And, and, yeah. and for me is so much better than going to a nine to five. And look at what you by your actions, your day-to-day -day actions, the mindset that you're growing and the goals you and your husband have, what that's going to do and demonstrate to your kids. You know, that's, that's huge. You're not going it, to, it's, it's massive what they're going to see and what that looks like. And you clearly have a supportive husband. He's in the comments <laughs> saying oh, how awesome you are, which I love. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's funny. Um, so that's, did he ever have doubt 
Was there ever that discussion? I don't think that it was doubt. I think that he believed in it from the start, but because of where we were coming from at the time, you know, with how broke we were, he just thought, well, we just, we just can't afford it. And at the time, actually, we got our tax returns. This was like, you know, January of this year, at the very beginning of the year. And so, you know, one could argue, well, you didn't have the money or you could say, oh, I just I can't afford it. I don't have the money and just limit yourself like that. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, it's mindset like, how can I afford it? You know, am I willing to take this risk and then do the work to make this work? And um, so at first there was doubt there. He was like, mm, you know, we're struggling and we really could use this money. But we used, you know, our tax returns to purchase the blueprints, which were totally worth it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just just skyrocketed, you know, this whole process for me. But anyway, I kind of forgot what I was saying there. But, yeah, it's just, you know, yeah, how you, are, you made a you've made a commitment. Yeah. Regardless, if you get the blueprints, don't get the blueprints, you committed to learning, you committed to implementing what you're learning. Yeah. No matter what it is and where it is, that's what's key. And there are people that go and invest in education, whether it's ours, someone else's, and they just hope it magically lands in their brain and it, it, yeah. it doesn't work that way. You still have to put in the time to learn. Mm -hmm. put in the time to implement and be will willing to do it kind of messy and willing for yeah. it not to be perfect and willing for you to learn as you go. And when you can do that and stay consistent with it, that's where everything changes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think because my husband saw in me to go back to your original question, um, how inspired I was by this and that mm -hmm. I told him, I said, I'm going to do it. I don't know exactly what it will take right now, but I'm going to do this. And he said, okay, you know, he believed in me mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm very blessed to have a supportive husband like that. And, um, you know, again, this has just been a game changer for me. I've learned so much along the way. I'm still learning, um, you know, about really just what it means to be an entrepreneur and, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just such a blessing. So cool. Isn't it cool to sit here and be like, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a CEO of my own company. I am amazing. Let's go. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That's, that's pretty awesome. When all of us think about it, that's what we're going for. And this is where that starts. This is where yeah. that beautiful tree, the seed begins. And I, I love that we've had you on today, kind of towards the start of your journey where you've had wins, you've been able to share some things that you've overcome already, and yeah. you're still going, which is cool. And you got to come back. But before we get into that, what is your piece of advice um, for anyone in the beginning of the challenge right now? They're waiting for their advisor call. Yeah. Um, they're, they're kind of in this, what is this? Do I want to do this? What's your advice for them right now? That's a great question. And I think to that, I would say that, um, first of all, this is a proven system. You should know that it does work for many people. And it's been a, a life changer for me. So just if, if you don't yet believe in this process for yourself, know that I do and you can lean on me. Um, and knowing that, but I, I guess I would just say that this will work if you do, like you said, you can't expect to just go through the course and be like, oh, okay, I know everything now. Like that's not enough. And you have to be willing to get uncomfortable. You have to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone because, and, and remember, why are you doing this? Why did you sign up to do this? Why did you spend the $7? And for. exactly. Yeah. And is it worth it? Is it worth it to you, you know, to mm -hmm. learn this and actually implement it? And um, mm -hmm. that's something that I would think about a lot is just how many people um, will buy the 15 day challenge. They might even go through it, but they ultimately don't do anything with it. Mm -hmm. And so be different, <laughs> like as cliche as that is, like be the one that does do it. 
be the one, you know, who steps out of your comfort zone and will have a story to tell because you did it. And, um, you know, cause at first I was like, oh my gosh, Dave Sharp is this amazing. Like, you know, like I was like starstruck and I was like, wow, I could never do that, but you can, you know, you genuinely can, and you have, and mm-hmm. I am right now. And, um, this is not unique to anyone. We will all show up in this business in our own unique way, but you know, this is something that anyone can do. Any at any age above eighteen, of course, um, can do this. So just believe, you know, that this is a proven system. Know that it will take work, and that um, it will be worth it in the end. And always remember why you're doing this. Yeah, I think if anything. It's exploring your options. That's what the $7 challenge lets you do. Explore what's possible out there. Um, Learn some new skills, learn a new angle, a new possibility, a new possible stream of income. See if it sparks additional interest in you and then start applying what you're learning in the challenge and start seeing what is uncovered as you go down that. What are you passionate about? Are you into health and fitness? Are you into parenting are you there's so many different ways into outdoors and hunting how can you tie in your interests um and build something and build a community online that you can then make recommendations to or build your own course or have your own events or build your own digital products to sell the sky's the limit but this is that beautiful appetizer that lets you see is is this where I want to go next? Is this something I'm into? And I think that's what's really cool is it lets you really see what it's like to be a digital marketer and um, not four years of school and a degree and then decide, you know what, that's not for me. You know, I, I've, I've met those people that went and got an accounting degree and they're a senior and they don't want to be an accountant, but they paid all this money for an accounting degree. Yeah. And so they got to figure out something else. This is seven bucks to let you decide and see how you feel about it and go from there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Which is pretty cool. All right. You have to come back on the show. You have to share with us (laughs) an update and how things are going, how life is progressing, how your business is growing and all of that good stuff. Um, so keep in touch, shoot us an email. If we don't reach out to you, reach out to us. Um, we definitely would love to have you on the show and just hear how your business and is progressing and what direction you continue to take it in, whether it's just in affiliate marketing, or if you start going into products and that sort of thing, um, we want to hear about it. So come back and definitely give us an update. Absolutely. Well, thank you for the invitation. I would definitely love to come back on. Yeah. Thank you so much. Take care. All right, everyone, please go follow Shayla on TikTok and Instagram at Profit Like a Pro with Petty, all connected. And it's P E T T Y at the end. Profit Like a Pro with Petty. Go follow her on TikTok and Instagram. Comment on her content. Let her know that you saw her interview on Wake Up Legendary. Dave is back tomorrow with another guest, another amazing interview. And yes, he will be live for anyone that's questioning that. And as always, stay legendary. Peace.